How's it going, folks? This is the big unit. This is Randy. Hope everyone's doing real good out there. I know I'm behind the curve on this. I've just been a little discouraged with what we see on social media and the like. Um, and just briefly, um, the passing of Killer Kim Brooks and um, uh, Kamala. And I just want to wish him Godspeed and um, wish him well on their journey. Um, I agree with a friend of mine, um, that's a YouTuber, you know, Kamala, I remember him a lot for, uh, you know, wrestling-wise, of course, is how I knew the man, um, and of course, there's a real person behind these people, you know, and I wish their family well, I'm glad that he was, he understood his health was failing, he was a double and like my grandmother was and I understand he was 70 years old and the morning before he passed he was in great spirits and everything and it was just a heart attack and I'm glad he was in great spirits on that day and it's the summer nice days and everything but I remember him it's these are both what I consider old Territory guys, the NWA. I'm an NWA person, and wrestling fans know what that means. I remember Kamala in World Class. ESPN used to have World Class, and at one point, 86, 87, they, at least in the summertime, Monday through Friday, every day of the week, would have the World Class show. And they were a little behind, so they could just show them consecutively. And I'd see Kamala with Skandar Akbar. And then when I could see Mid-South UWF and, and, you know, Devastation Incorporated, you know, General Akbar, I feel like he never gets his due again because he's an old territory guy. You know, but of course, he was everywhere and he had his rounds against Hogan in the WWF and everything. And... Later on was a part of these lawsuits with Billy Jack Haynes and so many others um, you know, about the brain damage and other things. I suppose general mistreatment up there in New York and stuff. And Killer Kim Brooks, I always remember at the age, again in world class, when I'm 10, 11 years old, um, seeing him and he looked just like someone that was one of my uncles you know i had um my dad had six brothers and four sisters so i had all these uncles and everything that we like to pal around and he looked just like one of these guys and i totally identified you know uh someone who you wonder if they'd be a star today you know, old territory guys and i've kind of came to know roddy piper more in a old territory since when I first knew of him it was Hogan and Piper and Mr. T all that um, and I actually worked at a nursery uh, doing construction putting up um, new greenhouses with someone that uh, dated one of his daughters down there in Portland and everything and um, so he was he had loyalty to that era, area and to Don Owens and to this whole Northwest area coming from just north of here in Canada. So that was cool. And I remember a story of him sharing an apartment with Killer Tim Brooks when they were in Portland uh, wrestling for Don Owens. And I remember hearing and thinking what type of, you know, it was like a little studio apartment and just a madhouse, you know, uh, Tim looked like, um, he could carry himself at the bar easily, you know, with the bikers sitting out front. There, you know, you could just see that in Tim, just a rough old boy, you know. But I mean that in the very best of ways. Um, I just want to wish them well on their journey, and that's about it, you know. Old NWA territory guys that I, I love. Acopolis and, and, and their families and wrestling fans, everyone. Have a great rest of your evening, okay? I'm out of here.